you are looking at the most poisonous animal in the world. Welcome back, Charlie here. We all love animals. Some look so exotic and cute you might want to touch or pet them, but if you like staying alive, you should keep your hands well away from any of these animals. First, we have to look at this animal. This is a sea urchin. There are over 200 different species of this very spiky animal. If you see one of these when diving in the sea, do not touch it. There are two reasons you don't want to touch this animal. For one, it has spikes that can damage human skin. The second reason is that within these spikes is a poisonous venom. If these spikes punch your skin, then venom will be released into your bloodstream. A sea urchin sting is very painful. It will cause massive swelling and the stinger might even get lodged inside your skin. After a few hours, you will feel drowsiness, weakness, and your muscles will begin to ache. Sometimes people have even become paralyzed thanks to these stings. Sometimes these stings can even get infected causing people to lose their entire hand or foot. In some rare cases, the venom of this animal even takes humans' lives. Moving on, let's look at a very scary animal found above ground. This is the Brazilian walking spider. This is one of the most venomous types of spider in the world. These spiders can grow pretty massive at 8 inches long. Unlike most spiders, these do not build webs. Normal spiders build webs and wait for prey to land in it. But these spiders are much more aggressive. They crawl the jungle floor in search of food, hunting down anything in their path. Their Greek name is Phonutria, which means murderous. These massive spiders even eat things like rats and mice. They're also known for standing on their hind legs. They have gigantic fangs, and they use these fangs to inject toxins into their prey. These toxins cause massive pain. They also lead to your blood pressure either dropping or going very high. This will lead to your heart beating incredibly fast. You may then go into a shock reaction before passing away. So if you're trekking through the Brazilian jungle, then avoid this insect. It is definitely the most menacing and sinister spider in the world. Now let's look at an animal even more poisonous. This is the blue ringed octopus. It may look amazing and even cute, but that's why it's so dangerous. Many people make the mistake of touching these animals, but those who do, do not survive for long. These can be found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Blue ringed octopus are actually the world's most venomous animal. Just one of these tiny creatures contains enough venom to take 26 lives. They grow to be a maximum of 8 inches long. They're very slow moving and calm, and they look beautiful. This means many humans make the big mistake of picking these up. But when foolish divers and swimmers are bitten by these, they pass away. The bite of a blue ringed octopus is almost impossible to feel. By the time you realize you've been bitten, it will already be too late. Their venom is more than 1,200 times more powerful than cyanide one of the most deadly poisons known to man. If you're bitten by one of these, you will experience paralysis within minutes. If you're still swimming, this means you won't be able to and will drown. And if you've got out of the water, it means you won't be able to move your arms and legs, meaning you can't call for help or go to a hospital. Soon, you won't be able to breathe. You may also begin to vomit and lose your sense of sight. And after about one hour, you will pass away. There is no anti-venom for this bite, so if you fall victim to a blue ringed octopus, there is no escape. You'd simply have to accept that within an hour, you will no longer be alive. That fact alone makes this one of the most terrifying animals on the planet. Moving on, let's look at the Lonomia obliqua. It's actually a form of silkworm. They're normally around 2 inches long and are either green or orange. They are found in the jungles of South America. But why are these so dangerous? Well, they're covered in these tiny hollow-bodied hairs. These can be dropped off and breathed in by any threat to this animal. These hairs are also so sharp they can puncture your skin. So if you ever see one, then never touch it. These are the only caterpillars in the world which are deadly to humans. Each of their stings also release toxins. You need to be stung around 20 times to receive a fatal dose of their venom. But they can do this very easily and very fast. 
especially if you were to touch one or pick one up. It's believed this animal has taken 500 human lives. If you're stung by one of these, you will experience nausea and vomiting after a few hours. And then 24 hours later, you will pass away. The scary thing about these is they look soft and innocent. Many don't realize how deadly they are until they pick one up. And by that time, it's already too late. Moving on, let's look at the Indian Red Scorpion. All scorpions can be scary and dangerous. Dangerous. But this is the most dangerous scorpion on the planet. These can be found in India, Pakistan, and Nepal. They're normally around 4 inches long, and come in a wide variety of colors, including yellow, orange, red, brown, and even blue. They're nocturnal, meaning that they come out only at night, but this makes them dangerous as they're hard to see. They exist in large numbers near towns and villages. It will inject you with toxins, which can be deadly. There is no antivenom for this scorpion, meaning that if you get bitten by one, then you won't make it out alive. Sadly, most victims of these are children. They don't realize the danger and then pick one up. Also, a very small amount of this animal's venom is enough to take a child's life. So whatever you do, avoid this animal at all costs. Next, let's look at the cone snail. Cone snails don't seem like threatening animals, but don't be fooled. Some cone snails are harmless, but others can be deadly. The reason why some are so dangerous is because they're so slow. They move at a snail's pace on the ocean floor, and because of this, they need a way to capture their prey. They use their tooth like a harpoon and shoot it into prey. This tooth injects venom into their prey. This paralyzes their prey almost instantaneously. Divers, swimmers, and shell collectors often pick these up. That's because they're known for their beautiful shells. But this can often lead to people getting stung and passing away. This tooth does not look sharp, but it is. It easily penetrates human skin, and can even pass through gloves. So far, cone snails have taken 27 human lives. If you're stung, you will be in great pain. You will also have difficulty seeing and breathing. After a few hours, you will experience vomiting, and then you will pass away. They have a nickname, which is the Cigarette Snail. That's because if you're bitten by one, you probably only have time to smoke a cigarette before you pass away. Even if their shells look beautiful, it's not worth risking your life to collect one. Moving on, let's look at harvester ants. Most ants are just annoying, but harvester ants can end your life. They are found in North and South America. The most deadly species is the Maracopa harvester ant. If one of these crawls on you or you pick one up, then you will be in grave danger. First, they emit pheromones, which summons other ants to come and attack you. Then they start biting your skin. They don't just sting you once, but many times. And each of these stings causes a burning pain which can last many hours. They also inject venom into you. And if you're stung more than 100 times, then this can be fatal. 100 times may seem like a lot, but these ants act very fast. And each year, people pass away thanks to these ants. Finally, let's look at the clownfish. Thanks to the movie Nemo, many people view clownfish as harmless and friendly. But be warned, clownfish can be very dangerous. The clownfish's appearance is actually designed to be a warning. Clownfish are known for biting humans to keep them away. They're also capable of surviving poisons from other fish. So next time you see a clownfish when diving, you might want to keep your distance. The ocean is without a doubt the scariest place on Earth. 95% of it is unexplored. So it's no surprise that every year, new, terrifying creatures are discovered and caught on camera. Welcome back, Charlie here. Today we'll look at the most terrifying creatures living in our seas. From a jellyfish that makes you want to end your own life, to humanoid creatures scientists can't explain. The first scary sea creature we'll look at is the Ninjen. Ninjens are found in Japanese and sub-Antarctic oceans. They are aquatic humanoids, but resemble a whale. Ninjens are very rare. Over the years, there have been many hoax sightings. But in 2010, Japanese whale researchers caught the most convincing Ninjen video ever. The video was filmed in Arctic waters, and comes from the Japanese Agency for Marine, Earth, Science, and Technology. The camera clearly shows a large creature with rounded features. It has an ominous smile and two large glowing white eyes. 
At first, some said this may have been a new species of whale, but according to marine biologists, no species of whale looks like this. Meaning that this is likely the closest humans have ever got to a ninjin. Ninjins do look ominous, but they're nothing compared to this tiny jellyfish. If you thought sea creatures had to be gigantic to be scary, then think again. Many have gone as far as to say this jellyfish is the scariest animal on the planet. The reason why is because it can make you suicidal. The Irukandji jellyfish is found in, you guessed it, Australia. If you're stung by one of these, then it won't hurt that much but it will leave you with an impending sense of doom, and it will also make you want to end your own life for up to two weeks. People stung by the Irukandji jellyfish have ended their own lives. The jellyfish is only one centimeter in diameter, and in my opinion, that's what makes it so scary. If you got stung by one of these, you may not even know. Just imagine how many people have ended their own lives and not even known that a jellyfish is to blame. Even though the Irukandji jellyfish is the most venomous thing on the planet, many people don't ever see it coming. Its venom is a hundred times worse than a cobra snake and 1,000 times worse than a tarantula's. Some people have survived these stings, but looking at their scars makes me never want to go in the sea again. I think if I ever go to Australia, I will avoid the beach. This jellyfish affects the human body very fast. Sometimes people are swimming and are stung by this jellyfish. They then lose control of their body and sink underwater, drowning. I think it's safe to say this animal is pretty OP. It's almost like it was uniquely designed to make humans' lives a living hell. But I think this next sea creature may inflict even more pain. Meet the tongue-eating louse. This underwater creature really is the stuff of nightmares. This underwater parasite eats its prey's tongue. But here's where it gets weird. After eating its prey's tongue, it then takes the place of its prey's tongue. It literally lives in its victims' mouths, eating all of their food. This thing really seems like a sci-fi monster. It is found off the coast of California all the way down to the coast of Ecuador. They're also found in the Atlantic Ocean too. Just imagine having a tongue with eyes and legs. The scary thing is, tongue-eating louse do this multiple times. Once their host dies, they find a new victim and they then become that victim's tongue. Now let's move on to a legendary scary creature found in the waters of Japan. What is it about Japan and creepy things in their seas? This is known as an umibozu. Umibozo meaning sea monk. That's because these creatures are gigantic and hairless like a monk. They are totally black with humanoid or snake-like limbs. They have been sighted by many fishermen over the years, and they're said to sometimes capsize ships. Some believe that umibozos are simply gigantic squids, but many Japanese fishermen swear that what they saw were not squids. Umibozos are said to be much larger and stronger. Some have even compared these to Cthulhu. That is a mythical gigantic squid which capsizes ships. But if you thought umibozus were the scariest underwater humanoids, then you'd be wrong. Take a look at this video taken from inside a submarine. The submarine was lurking below the Greenland Sea. The crew is looking at a school of fish above them, but behind them there is a much rarer, scarier creature. As you can see, a large webbed hand slams onto the submarine's window. The hand seems to be roughly five times larger than a human hand, but has five fingers, suggesting this may be a humanoid of some sort. The humanoid creature then seems to swim away, leaving the submarine crew absolutely stunned and scared. You might have missed it, but there is one frame where the creature's head can be seen. Using AI, I've enhanced this so we can get a better look. It does not look like any sea creature I know, but let me know what you think in the comments below. But whatever this is, it's far from the only unidentified creature living in our waters. Just take a look at this very mysterious footage of a disc in the water. This was recorded by Thomas Wall. He is audibly confused as he sees a large breathing disc. I think it's alive. But I don't know what it is. 
This was filmed in Godridge, Ontario, Canada. Apparently, this is near a local nuclear power plant. So maybe this is some kind of mutant fish or sea animal. It definitely does seem to be breathing, suggesting this is alive. Thomas throws something into the water, but the round mass does not move. Maybe it was not able to, or perhaps it's simply not scared. What do you think this could possibly be? Now let's move on to a terrifying sea creature we do know a lot about. This is the Lancet Fish. The Lancet Fish is also known as the Handsaw Fish. They're very rare and live in the ocean. But in 2014, one of these fish washed up in North Carolina. These fish are gigantic with massive fangs to match. The scary thing about lancet fish is they hunt other lancet fish. They're known for taking the lives of their brothers, sisters, cousins, and even parents. This cannibal fish is very dangerous to humans too. Finally, let's look at a very scary sea mystery. That is the mystery of Crabzilla. In 2014, sightings of a 15 meter giant crab were recorded in the UK. It was apparently seen in Whitstable off the Kent coast. Some boys who were crabbing reported it, and the giant crab was even reportedly seen on Google Maps. This was reported by lots of newspapers at the time, but to this day the verdict is still out. The crab is no longer there in person, but satellite images do appear to match the reports many locals made. What do you think? Is crab Crabzilla real or not? Welcome back, Charlie here. Dogs can be a man's best friend, but get on the wrong side of these dogs and they will quickly turn into your worst enemy and you won't survive for more than a few seconds. These are the most vicious dogs that can end your life very fast. These dogs are powerful, aggressive, and in some countries, even illegal. Let's get it on. Malinois The Belgian Malinois is one of the most deadly dogs known to man. The dog is too powerful for police forces, and is often reserved for special forces and military use. The Malinois can launch itself through the air. It looks like they can fly. These dogs really can enter creative mode if they want to, and they give Michael Jordan a run for his money. It's said Malinois can take a human life in a mere 10 seconds. That's probably why they're illegal in many countries. They are illegal in Bermuda, Romania, Ukraine, and Malaysia. Kangol The Turkish Kangol has the strongest bite of any dog. It has a bite force of 743 psi. This means Kangol's can easily bite through bones. Kangol's can also outrun almost any human. Their long legs allow them to run at top speeds of 30 miles an hour. Their legs also allow them to jump 2 meters into the air. If you try to harm a Kangol, then there's a good chance he won't live to tell the tale. These dogs can start small, but quickly grow to be larger than their owners. Wolf Dog If you thought wolves were scary, then take a look at this dog. Wolf dogs are a crossbreed of domesticated dogs and wild wolves. This breed is very beloved by humans, but these dogs can also be very dangerous. These dogs have what's known as wolf brains. For example, they have a pack mentality. They are very protective of their pack leader, which in their case is their human owner. Sometimes they can be overly aggressive to outsiders, and that's why they're a favorite for many families to use as guard dogs. Wolves are known to battle each other all day every day to establish dominance. This means if you get on the wrong side of a wolf dog, then you won't last long. They are very wild, unpredictable, and have a strong bite force too. That's why in many countries and states, it's illegal to own a wolf dog. Pero de Peresa Canario These dogs don't just look scary. These dogs can be incredibly vicious. They are catch dogs, meaning that they used to be used by hunters. But today, many people have them as pets. They are a mix of various breeds of fighting dogs. So it's no surprise this dog can take a human life in seconds. They are used in farming and also dogfighting too. Dogfighting is of course illegal. 
But when dogfighting rings are broken up, many Pero de Presa Canarios are found and rescued. Cane Corso The Cane Corso is a very scary dog which is banned in most US states. They are commonly used as guard dogs, but don't get on the wrong side of one of these dogs. They are known to keep a lookout of their territory, and if you happen to stumble onto it, then they will attack. The Cane Corso has one of the most powerful jaws on any dog, and it's this jaw which has taken many human lives. There are many cases of Cane Corsos injuring humans every year. Because they have been crossbred with fighting dogs, Cane Corsos are very dominant. This means they may assert themselves by being aggressive and biting you. In some cases, they can even chase down other animals. They are very muscular and fast, meaning that they can overpower just about any human or animal. Cane Corsos are known as the most unfriendly dog breed in the world. They are very antisocial. If too many other dogs or humans are around, then they may lash out and attack. Alaskan Malamute Alaskan Malamutes can look very cool and cute, but don't be fooled by their looks. They are very tough, strong, and sometimes aggressive. They're strong because they used to be used as sleigh dogs, meaning they would have to pull heavy loads. They also have thick coats, meaning they can survive in below freezing temperatures, and can live out in the open with very little shelter or food. They can also sometimes be dangerous to humans and other animals. Malamutes are natural hunters. Sarplaninac Sarplaninac shepherds are used in farming not only to herd animals, but also to protect them. Just look at this Sarplaninac protecting some pigs from a bear. Sarplaninacs can grow to be incredibly tall. It's very hard to control these dogs on a leash even if you're strong. If you break into a house, then you won't last long if the owner has this dog. The dog is so powerful that it's been banned in many countries, most recently in Denmark. Alabay the Alibay is one of the most impressive and scary dog breeds in the world. These dogs are muscular, very heavy, and also very tall. These dogs can even pull 2,500 pound cars. The leash on these dogs is more just for show. There's pretty much no way you'll beat this dog in a fight. Alibays aren't even afraid of tigers. After all, they have a similar bite force to a tiger. This has led to the dog being banned in many countries around the world. Pitbull No dog breed attacks humans more than the Pitbull Terrier. They make up around 35% of all dog injuries. Pitbulls can also be very strong and muscular. Just take a look at this Pitbull pulling a car. Pitbulls are banned in over 8 countries, including Germany and some US states. Because of how ferocious they are, you can see why. You are looking at the deepest place in the world. Welcome back, Charlie here. Today you're going to see the most terrifying and mysterious things found in the Mariana Trench. From a scary lost ship, to an underwater headless chicken monster. First, let's look at this unidentified creature. The Mariana Trench is so unexplored we don't even know what lives down there. This massive unidentified sea monster was caught on camera camera for 10 minutes. It's believed this is some kind of jellyfish. Its body is similar to a blanket, and this may be used to capture prey. The jellyfish also has a strange underside. It's believed this may be used for feeding. Most jellyfish live among other jellyfish, but this one was found alone. Another weird thing about this creature is it's see-through. You can see right into its body, and even look at its cardiovascular system. It's safe to say the Mariana Trench is hiding many scary creatures. And this one isn't even the scariest. But moving away from living things for a second, look at this lost ship. You may be wondering who would be crazy enough to sail over the Mariana Trench. How did their ship get lost at the bottom of the sea? And why was it never recovered? This is actually the USS Johnson. 
It was a World War II destroyer that belonged to the US Navy. But how did this ship sink to the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Well, the ship got into a big battle. The Japanese Navy shot cannons at the ship. This caused the Johnston to sink to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. And today it is the deepest shipwreck known to man. It was only found in 2019 and was only identified as the Johnston in 2021. It is more than 20,000 feet below the ocean's surface. Footage was taken of it using a remotely operated vehicle. No humans can go this deep because there's no oxygen. This really shows how unforgiving the Mariana Trench can be to ships. Now let's move on to one of the scariest things living in the Mariana Trench. This is the Headless Chicken Monster. No, I'm not joking. This is a real living creature. It gets its name because many say it looks like a headless chicken, but these are only found in the deep sea. Well, it's a type of swimming sea cucumber. They are two to eight inches in length, and they are found in three colors, red, purple, and blue. These creatures can live insanely deep down. For example, this one was found at nearly 10,000 feet below the ocean's surface. But the headless chicken monster is no match for this next creature. You are looking at a shark, but not just any shark. This is a 60-foot shark. It's so massive, many have compared it to a megalodon. This was recorded by ocean researchers in the Mariana Trench. It was filmed about 5,300 feet below the ocean surface. They managed to lure this shark in using a bait cage. The shark has a gigantic white eye. But could this actually be a real megalodon living in the Mariana Trench? Megalodon were about 70 feet in length, meaning that this massive shark is very close in size. But megalodon also had gigantic teeth. Unfortunately, the shark's teeth are not visible in this video, but it's safe to say this is one of the most scary creatures in the entire ocean. Speaking of scary creatures, take a look at this thing. It may look like some kind of alien creature, but this is a real creature living in the Mariana Trench. It's called a supergiant amphipod. This is the largest type of amphipod ever discovered. Some say they look kind of like gigantic insects. Just imagine one of these latching onto you as you're diving in the ocean. These creatures are very scaly. They're also more than 10 times bigger than normal amphipods. Normal amphipods are 2 to 3 centimeters long, but these supergiant ones are 34 centimeters in length. They're found anywhere from 7,000 to 10,000 meters below the ocean surface. It may not be as big as a shark, but these are equally as scary to me. Now let's move on to this very mysterious living thing. Looking at this, you may wonder if it's a plant or an animal. This is actually an animal known as a sea squirt, but this specific one is scarier than most. It's called a predatory tunicant. These lay in wait and then devour small fish that go near it. They open their mouths very wide, but as soon as any fish go by it, they will close their mouth very fast. It's kind of like an underwater Venus flytrap. Predatory tunicates are about 5 inches wide, and they're found incredibly deep below the ocean surface. Moving on, let's look at one of the scariest creatures you will ever see in your life. They almost don't even look real, but unfortunately for any divers, they are. These are known as Fanfin Sea Devils. If that name isn't enough to scare you, just look at the teeth on these things. And they have bioluminescent string all over them too. This helps to attract prey and scare off any predators. They attract prey with their pretty lights and then they eat them. Now you can see why this is called a sea devil. In some cases, fishermen accidentally catch these, and every time, they give fishermen a big fright. Now, let's look at what many are calling the ghosts of the Mariana Trench. These fish really do resemble ghosts. They are called the Mariana Snailfish. These live very deep under massive water pressure. They have been found deeper than many other fish. They love to swim right by the sea floor. They look so odd. The deepest they've ever been found is at 26,000 feet. That's one of the deepest points of the Mariana Trench. 
But not the deepest point. The deepest point of the Mariana Trench is known as the Challenger Deep. It is 36,070 feet below sea level. But we don't know what life forms actually live down there. It's simply way too far down and there's no light for us to see. Finally, let's take a look at one more scary creature found in the Mariana Trench. You are looking at a shark, but not just any type of shark. This is a goblin shark. It really is the stuff of nightmares. This is a very rare species of shark which is found deep below the ocean surface. They have long flat noses and gigantic sharp teeth. They can grow up to 20 feet, making them gigantic. These can dive down very far to depths of around 4,000 feet. I think it's safe to say the Mariana Trench is one of the most terrifying places on our planet. But because it's so fascinating and mysterious, we keep going back. Only 5% of our oceans have been explored, and much of the Mariana Trench has never been explored by humans. So it's likely that many scary and mysterious things have not even been discovered yet. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the scariest thing found in the Mariana Trench. If you want to see my short videos, then check out my second channel. Thanks for watching, I've been Charlie. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.